Hey everyone, good morning. It is 8.54 in the morning and I just woke up. It's a weekend so I can wake up a little later. Usually I wake up like at 7 or 7.30 so I have time to get ready before I go to work. But today I wanted to show you my morning routine that helps me get up and feel more productive in the morning. And I do have a nighttime routine to make me feel more rested and I will be linking that up here if you want to watch that. So I am a little sleepy but I'm not having any coffee yet. I kind of want to wake up myself to be honest, I noticed my body is okay with not having coffee in the morning. There's a lot of people saying that coffee is not good for you, but I'm having a hard time removing coffee from my routine because it just makes me feel good. But energy-wise, I don't need it. Okay, let's just dive right into it. So if you watched my nighttime routine, I did put a lot of stuff on my face and now we're going to remove that. So the first thing I do is I cleanse and this is the same cleanser I use at night as my second cleanse. I do like this. This is the Lot Roche Posay Effect clair purifying foam gel i do like this it smells very nice it doesn't have a very strong fragrance but it does smell very pleasant and almost spa like in my opinion so i'm just gonna lather this with some water and then i'll just remove all of the layers that i put on my face the night before also if i've drooled like my saliva and all that stuff tmi but it is what it is. So let me just lather this with some water and then I'll wash it off and I'll be right back. I just used a towel, a clean towel to wipe my face. Is my headband okay? <laughs> so the next step I do both in the morning and at night. I just love this step. It is my favorite for a reason. I just noticed that whenever I do it, I feel like I see a difference in my skin. And that is the Paula's Choice 2% BHA Tonic. So I personally love this. <laughs> ASMR, it's so nice. I used to use the Ordinary Glycolic Acid and the Pixie Glow Tonic. I love those, especially the Pixie Glow Tonic. It smells so good and it feels so good. But when I discovered this, I just, I converted. It's just, it's so good. My skin knows when I use it and when I don't use it. And I do see a difference. And the funny thing is, whenever I would watch people review this product, they would say the same thing. And I'd be like, nah, they're just being paid to say that. It actually works. So I like to just layer this on top of my skin very gently. Sometimes I go upwards because I feel like it goes into my pores better. So I'm only using it twice a day because I am used to it and my skin likes it. But if you haven't built a tolerance yet, you'll have to use this like once every other day. And and that build that tolerance and then eventually you can switch to twice a day. My big problem area is my nose and also around my mouth. I think it's because I kiss my cat so much. You can really tell the difference of energy from me in the morning and me at night. Okay, so my next step is gonna be serum. So at this stage, you can put any of your serums. I used to put niacinamide at this stage, but now I switched over to vitamin C. I love vitamin C. Currently, I'm trying the vitamin C24 from Indeed Labs. I really wanna try their vitamin C brightening drops. I like how it makes my skin look and feel so smooth. I like vitamin vitamin C. So typically you're not supposed to mix vitamin C and BHA together because it's going to lower the pH of your skin and cause some irritations. I honestly felt it the first time I put it because I didn't educate myself. So I was feeling a little itchy but eventually it went away so I guess I built a tolerance over that. I can't remove my BHA step. I need it. I need my vitamin C. So I built a tolerance and now I'm okay. I don't feel any irritation and my skin doesn't seem irritated either or inflamed. Next is going to be eye cream. Now at night, I do mention that I use a retinol for my eye cream. But in the morning, I like to use something more hydrating. Now I have so many eye cream samples that I'm going through to see what eye creams I like. And so far, I'm using this sample. This is the Clarence Curcuma Turmeric Double Serum Eye. And it's like a two-solution system. There's an oil and there's a cream. So, so far, and I do like it. I just prefer using a non-retinol for my eyes in the morning because I notice if I just use a retinol, I do get a little bit of a dry under eye situation and that makes my concealers sit weirdly under my eyes. So I'm very gentle. Try not to tug at my skin. Just be very gentle with your under eye area. Okay, now that's done, I'm gonna do my moisturizer, which is my last step in my morning routine. I like to try keeping things as light as possible in the morning because I am putting foundation and everything else after. So in the morning, I like to use like a gel moisturizer and today I'm going to be using the Clarence Reboost. This is a mattifying hydrating blemish gel. 
So it's actually a very cool consistency. It's, it's like a jelly. It's so nice. So what I do is I warm it up in my fingers and then I just layer it on top of my skin. Now at night, I do use Differin to spot treat, but I try not to use it in the morning because it doesn't perform very well under makeup and I don't want to over dry my skin. And I try to bring a little bit of that moisture down on my neck as well. Don't disregard your neck area. I really want to try these LED masks that is popping up everywhere now, but it's like so expensive. So I'm gonna try and save for that. Okay, and for my last step, and this is also one of my favorite steps, this is SPF. I tried quite a few SPF, and I used to love the CeraVe SPF. I would go on and on about it in all of my videos, but I recently found these ultra light SPFs that sit really really well under makeup. This is the SPF by Vici. It's the ultra light UV lotion. It's an SPF 60, and do you hear that? That's how light it is. It's like a kind of spray paint. It's really liquidy and it's really thin, but that's why I love it under makeup because it doesn't disturb the makeup so much. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but it's literally like liquid. It's like water. They also have a tinted version of this, which maybe I'm gonna try once my skin clears up a little bit more. Also, especially in the summertime, you like some tinted moisturizer with SPF to lessen those layers of makeup on your skin. Okay, and my last step is lip cream. I never forget the lip cream. I need the lip cream, especially now that it's like winter time. So there's only two lip creams that I absolutely love. And I've tried a lot of lip creams, lip balms, lip everything. My number one is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. But in the mornings, I kind of wanted something lighter. So I found this Indeed Hydrolerone Lip Treatment. And this is honestly almost as good as the Laneige. It's a little bit lighter, but I do feel the hydration and I'm definitely gonna repurchase this. I also really wanna try the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, but in the tube form. But I'm only gonna get that once I'm done with the tub. So this I apply in the morning underneath the lipstick that I'm wearing on that day. Okay, now I feel extra refreshed and ready to do my makeup, but I'm gonna end my morning routine here. I will film a separate video for my morning makeup routine that I do almost every day. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any tips and tricks, please leave them in the comments down below. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to like it, subscribe down below, and ding that notification bell to be informed when I upload. I appreciate your support, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!